a cosmic sick, a sicking. <laughs> Hello everyone. Uh, we are going to be having a look at SpongeBob Cosmic Shake on iOS today. Just a short video, we're going to be going over the tech and its performance on just an iPhone 15 Pro and an M1 iPad. Enjoy! Before we get into this, it's important to have a look at the supported devices for Cosmic Shake. The game is only supported on devices with an A12 Bionic chip or later. Handy Games have also told me an Apple TV version will come in the near future. First, let's go over the iOS tech for Cosmic Shake. Cosmic Shake on iPhone and iPad uses Metal 2.1. I asked Handy, why not Metal 3? And they told me, we use Metal 2.1 since it is the highest version natively supported by Unreal Engine 4 and there was no need to upgrade. The game runs entirely on the Metal framework, and unlike their prior mobile release, Wreckfest Molten VK has not been used here. The game is powered by Unreal Engine 4, version 4.27. Notable post-processing effects in use are Bloom, SSAO, SSR, FXAA, and the distant fog in some levels. Handy told me, Unreal handles a lot of the lens effects and color grading and tone mapping in their post-process stack, and they use Unreal's FXAA as it produces a not too blurry image, even at low resolutions, while still mostly getting rid of very obvious aliasing. As with their previous SpongeBob game, Cosmic Shake obviously has full controller support. However, unfortunately, it does not have rumble. I asked Handy about controller rumble support and they informed me that we would certainly like to have controller rumble. However, it is sadly not natively supported on mobile by Unreal and we are not currently planning on implementing it ourselves. Surprisingly, the game works with a mouse and keyboard on iPads, however, it's not official support. So, the touch UI will not disappear when using these peripherals. And it would be really cool if you know if you had like a, a keyboard and mouse interface, but, but no. And some interactions may not work. I'd still argue that controller support is definitely the way to go for this game on, 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 on any platform, even PC. But having this feature, even if it's not official, it, it's better than nothing, I suppose. It's, it's, yeah, it's just a leftover feature that the handy just didn't notice, I guess, I don't know. Alrighty, now let's have a look at the performance on two devices. Our first device to look at is the iPhone 15 Pro, powered by A16 Pro Bionic. By default, the game plays at ultra resolution, 60 FPS and all advanced video settings are on ultra as well. When the game is at ultra resolution, it targets 75% of native resolution on a device. In this case, on my iPhone 15 Pro, the game should be running at 1917 by 884. The problem with default settings here is that the iPhone 15 Pro either gets too hot, hitting 50 plus degrees, or the chip just can't handle these settings. The frame rate does drop quite dramatically. You'll notice it is the worst in bikini bottom, often going down as low as 30 FPS, sometimes even into the high 20s. That being said, locations later on in the game do have much better performance, such as Karate, downtown Bikini Bottom, usually going down into the low 40s at worst, or Prehistoric Kelp Forest is often hitting the nice sweet 60 FPS target. The dramatic FPS drops earlier on in the game are noticeable, I guess, even on the iPhone's smaller display. It's also worth noting I did a 
test at default settings, a 10 minute test with the application PerfDog. This provides me some data. You can pause the video if you want to look into the data. In this case, I found I had better performance at high resolution with all advanced video settings on Epic. Handy didn't tell me what resolution the game targets in this state, but the lower resolution is not really noticeable due to the display being quite small. Now, I am receiving a mostly lock 60 FPS throughout gameplay, and this is without a cooling solution. For some reason though, traveling through Bikini Bottom still sees mixed performance, but I suppose there is a lot of complex things going on in this location, or maybe Handy just needs to look more at, at, at what's going on. At these settings, I did another 10 minute test with Perf Dog. You can pause the video if you want to look into the data. Every device that has a ProMotion display has access to the 120 FPS limit in game. It's cool to have, but don't expect a locked 120 FPS on this device, people. I have to use off screen gameplay for this section and use a program called PerfDog to see the FPS. But here I am playing at a low resolution. I don't know what the actual resolution is, but I also have all advanced video settings on low and it can't reach 120 FPS. I really didn't think it would anyway. At these settings, I also did another 10 minute test with PerfDog. You can pause the video if you want to look into the data with your eyes. Up next is my iPad Pro 11 inch with Apple M1. By default, the game plays at ultra resolution, 60 FPS and ultra advanced graphical options. When the game is at ultra resolution, it targets 75% of native resolution on a device. In this case, the game should be running at 1791 by 1251. Unlike the iPhone 15 Pro, this M1 iPad has much better performance at ultra settings, mostly sticking to its 60 FPS target. Again, it has the biggest issues, well, it's biggest isn't really the right word, it has issues when exploring Bikini Bottom, but it doesn't go below 50 FPS, so it's not a big issue and most of you won't notice it if you have this device. But yeah, the game runs really well here and it looks absolutely gorgeous on the big, bigger iPad display here. If you have a 12.9 inch display, oh my goodness, the game is gonna look fantastic. This is a, a this is quite a complex game in, in some regards. At default settings, I did a 10 minute test with PerfDog. You can pause the video if you want to look into the data. As I said earlier, every device that has a ProMotion display has access to the 120 FPS limit in game. Again, sadly, don't expect a locked 120 FPS on this device. Yeah, it's quite a lot better than the iPhone 15 Pro with about plus 10 to 15 overall, but it's still often a little bit below 100 FPS. And this is at a low resolution with all advanced video settings set to low. Again, this is quite a complex Unreal game. I know it's just a cartoon game, but it is quite demanding. Karate, karate, karate. 
so I'm not really disappointed that it can't reach the 120 FPS target. I expected that. I suggest playing the game at default graphics with a 60 FPS target and you'll have a really good time with this game. Relying on 120 FPS will force you to play at far too low settings to achieve a decent frame rate. And the game looks ugly, man. Here, you can see some important data for CPU, GPU, and memory usage. You can pause the video if you want to look into this data. It's 38 degrees Celsius here in Australia. It's so hot. So let's do this quickly. Okay, so that was SpongeBob Cosmic Shake on iOS. It's a pretty good port. I mean, I only, I only looked at two devices. Uh, it's just, I wanted to look at more. Yes, it's just the methods that I was using in this video take days and days and days to analyze the performance. And I wanna say a big thank you to Handy Games for, for helping me in some ways with this video, with answering some, some of my questions and so forth. And I really look forward to the Apple TV version. Please let me know when that's out. I'd love to take a look at it. And it'll, I also hope that you do consider Mac in the future. That would be really cool. I know you guys don't usually handle Mac and so forth like that, but it would be really cool. I really love this game, SpongeBob, and I also like the first game, Battle for Bikini Bottom. It was really cool. You know, it's a game that everyone can enjoy. And who doesn't love SpongeBob, you know? He's a sponge. Good gameplay, good humor, and so forth. And the port that they have delivered is, is pretty good for what it is. And yeah, that's basically all I want to talk to you guys about today. Because I'm getting so hot. My glasses are fogging up because it's so hot in this room. I've got to go. Okay, I've got to turn the aircon on. So see you later. And have a good one, guys. I really mean it. I really mean it, okay? I really mean it. I'm going to go uh, turn the aircon on now. Turn the aircon on. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, that's a fan, but yeah.